What do you think the Packers should be thinking about right now with Rodgers? Trade him. Rip the Band-Aid off. If you believe in your process and you traded up for Jordan Love, now is the time. And Greeny, the comparisons are remarkable. When we traded for Brett Favre at the Jets, Aaron Rodgers sat for three years. Jordan Love, he sat for three years. Look, it's a very small sample set, but the stats are actually comparable. And to Aaron Jones's point, guys, Jordan Love is an improved football player who they believe in. So now is the time. You have two years left on his contract. You're going to have to make this transition. You have Christian Watson and Romeo Dobbs. Let those guys grow together. Trusting their own process. Kmart, what do you think? My biggest question is, do they trust their own process? Because their actions, at least from the outside looking in, indicate that they don't because they moved up to get Jordan Love and everything since that pick has been trying to make amends for that pick. So I 100% agree with Mike Tannenbaum that at some point you have to rip the Band-Aid off. I thought the Packers were doing that by drafting Jordan Love but they've undercut his development every step of the way. So when you say, just rip it off now, sure. But history indicates that they may not be ready to do so. In fact, they're waiting on Aaron to come back from whenever he goes into the wilderness in the dark room. They're waiting for him to let them know what he plans on doing. If they were ready to move on, they should have just turned the lights off on him already and said goodbye. We have our successor here. We are counting on hearing something from Aaron today. He is expected to be on. Pat McAfee has said he'll be on his show today, so we're looking forward to hearing what he says. It's hard to go from uh, a Hall of Famer to a Hall of Famer to another Hall of Famer. I think mm -hmm. moving on from Brett Favre was made very easy because they passed the baton to a guy like Aaron Rodgers. I think it's really unlikely, as much as I would like it to be true, it's unlikely that Jordan Love is going to make it that easy. And Brett Favre went on to have success elsewhere, but the Packers were having success, so that was okay. It's going to be really hard if Brett Favre goes to New York and they start winning and they're making a run for a championship and Jordan Love is struggling. It's really hard to find a quarterback who's good, let alone great. And I know Aaron Rodgers had a rough year last year, but there are reasons for that. I would suggest if they could, put up with it for one more season and make another run at it because I, I don't think anyone considers them a Super Bowl contender without Aaron Rodgers. Maybe they aren't one with Aaron Rodgers, but it seems to me that they would be a lot closer than they would with Jordan Love. Now, now we mentioned that the Derek Carr decision should come today. And by that, we mean that Las Vegas will release him. They're not going to pay him $40 million, and he's not going to make anything easier for them. So we'll start to get a sense of what other teams are thinking. But you mentioned the Jets, and we know the reporting from the weekend from Shefty and others that the Jets have already reached out to the Packers to make the inquiries. Is Rodgers going to be available? What should the Jets be doing? They should have been in uh, Pebble Beach three weeks ago <laughs> with Aaron Rodgers, raking the bunkers, being his caddy <laughs> on that golf tournament. I would box out every other team, Greeny. Look, there's going to be a market. It's Aaron Rodgers, as Nietzsche said, an all-time great. And if you want him, go get him. Don't take no for an answer. And just, I would have asked the Packers for permission the day after they were eliminated and then go see him and start recruiting and never let another team have an ounce of daylight. All right, so, so let's just be clear on the circumstances. I'm not a reporter, came out, you are. Mm -hmm. So I'm in Arizona last week. I was there to cover basketball, basically. But I'm talking to everybody because it's the mm -hmm. Super Bowl. And I can't tell you how many people said to me, I want to make it clear, I'm not reporting anything. Mm -hmm. But how many people said to me, the Packers are ready to move on. The Packers are ready to turn the page and go forward. Because I'm asking everybody, are the Jets going to get Aaron Rodgers? <laughs> Obviously, because that's really the main idea. I mean, this literally story. everybody. Yes. I mean, people are running when they say, see me coming. <laughs> this conversation is coming. And I, I can't tell you how many people I heard say to me, mm -hmm. Greeny, the Packers are ready to make this change. I, but again, you're the reporter, I'm not. No, I've heard, Greeny, I've heard similar things, but I've also heard when asking people, where do you think he'll end up? A, a lot of people have also told me Green Bay. And I think it's because, to Dominique's point, the transition is something that they have been afraid to, to, to rip the Band-Aid off of. They know that it's going to be hard to go from Beth, Brett Favre to Aaron Rodgers and then hope that Jordan Love is the answer. Yes, he's improved, but look at that offense. Look at that team from the start of the season to the end. They were on an upper trajectory. You, you almost reset the whole clock and hope that Jordan Love can make you not just competitive but a playoff team. That's a lot to ask for the kid. Yeah. What should he want? I mean, what do you think here? Yeah, it's, oh, that's an impossible. That's the thing. You don't know what he wants, so then there's no way to know what he's going to do because you don't even know what he wants. Right. Yeah, he doesn't know, and he's going to find out on his retreat very soon, and he'll let us know, but I assume that he wants to win another Super Bowl because he has won, and I think if there is a blemish or a knock on Aaron Rodgers' career, if he cares about what we think, if he cares about his legacy, the goal should be to win another Super Bowl. It's probably easier path in the NFC, 
but I think the Jets are probably a better team, a better roster overall. So that's what he's weighing. I would stay with Green Bay and tough it out one more time in the cold and try to make a run and win another Super Bowl. You know, Greeny, just sitting in front offices for 20 plus years and being these planning meetings, and I know today is, is about love and relationships, uh, but there's another word that applies here. It's fatigue. Mm -hmm. At some point, if you're the Green Bay Packers, Green, it's just enough, like enough, enough. Are you in? Are you out? The contract, Devontae, Bakhtia, enough. And at some point, it's just not worth it. He didn't play great last year. And I'm not saying Jordan Love is going to outplay Aaron Rodgers. But at some point, a declining veteran's doing this. A young quarterback. Well, if you're doing tired, this. if you're fatigued, if you're fatigued, you're tired of Aaron Rodgers. If you get move on from him and you lose a bunch of years in a row, you're gonna have a lot of time to rest when you get fired. Here's, right? Here's, no, it's you true. You deal with that fatigue here, while you're still getting checks. As long because, as that direct deposit hitting, I'm gonna listen to Aaron Rodgers say whatever it is he wants to say. Right? Because earlier in the last offseason, the question was, do you want to be the person who has on their ledger nope. that I traded away Aaron Rodgers? I, a lot and of people don't. We won a Super Bowl with the Jets, and we were figuring it out with Jordan Love. <laughs> oh, my but. God. I almost just Dream. collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> my heart, One, quick heart final thought. One quick final thought on this. <laughs> we're going to start getting a sense of this quickly, right? I want everyone to understand the timetable here. Derek Carr is going to get released today. Mm -hmm. Derek Carr is not Aaron Rodgers. But what he probably is, this is going to sound bad, is the next best option yeah. these teams will have. So if you see the Jets going hard after him, if you see the, the, the Raiders going hard after him, that would suggest those teams don't believe Rodgers is really going to leave. Green Bay, right? Or you just need to have plan B. All your eggs yeah. can't be in any of yes. these baskets. Lamar Jackson getting franchised. They're like, But you're right, the sense of urgency. Free agency starts today, not in the middle of March. And if you're one of the 14 teams that needs a quarterback, Derek Carr looks pretty darn good. Yeah, because mm -hmm. Carr will be exactly that. He's, he's He could sign somewhere in the morning if he wanted to. So, like, keep a very close eye on what happens today with Derek Carr, whether you think he's the answer for your team or not. What do you expect to happen as he goes into the darkness retreat? I expect Jordan Love to be the starter for the Green Bay Packers Ooh. next year. I expect Aaron Rodgers to end up in New York. I know that makes you happy, G. Don't hug me. I don't need you to touch me. Say anything nice, okay? I think that's where Aaron Rodgers... No, I do. I need to hug okay. you. I, I, okay. I, I, need to. I have to. Right. It's been right. right. Oh, my right. God. Please right. just keep talking. Just keep every, talking. Every, every keep since, talking. Every just keep since, talking. Ever since the owner said that they were, they were going to be in the market heavily, and obviously, you see the hires that was made, the, the history that they have with Aaron Rodgers. I don't think... Nathaniel Hackett. Nathaniel Hackett. I don't think it's smart to speculate anything else. We know what they loading up for. But ultimately, man, like, and y'all know it, I, I've, I've died on the hill of, of two years ago saying, Jordan Love need to be the starter. They need to get rid of this, rip the Band-Aid off, and just start over uh, from scratch. But now, you get public support from one of the faces of that franchise, talking about the progression that Jordan Love has made and understanding this too, G, because I know I told you I was tired of talking about Aaron Rodgers, mm -hmm. and I am. That's why I'm glad this says Jordan Love. <laughs> um, I, I have always thought that these dudes were tired of the year-in, year-out circus. Mm -hmm. A lot of these dudes, the one thing we failed to talk about with Green Bay, a lot of these cats veterans, they in win windows. Yeah. They want to win championships. They obviously want to get paid. But Aaron Jones knows as a running back, dude, these windows close for me rapidly. So I think him saying Jordan Love is an absolute public acknowledgement that that is what they're thinking as players on the team. You know, that's fascinating. Mm -hmm. You used the word fatigue. And you were telling us this morning, Mike T, on our call, that you remember hearing that in their voices when you did that deal a generation yeah. ago. Yeah, to Swagoo's point, the parallels are unbelievable. When we traded for Brett Favre at the Jets, they just said enough was enough. Is he in? Is he out? You know, it was three years that, as a first-round pick, Aaron Rodgers didn't play. Jordan Love is now going on three years, and it's his time to play. And at some point, to Swagoo's point, the fatigue, is he in? Is he out? Like, it just weighs on organization, conversation after conversation. And if I'm the Packers, and look at these stats, they're remarkably close. I have to say, our future is Romeo Dobbs, it's Christian Watson, and it's Jordan Love, and we're moving forward together. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to read the smile on Kmart's face. What is the smile over there? You know what? Because what my friends are saying makes logical sense, right? We should move on. But the Packers themselves 
have shown us that they are not ready to move on. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because they're waiting for Aaron Rodgers to go in the dark and come out. Yep. <laughs> if they were ready to move on, if the Packers believed that Jordan Love was ready to ascend and take over, they would have said, hey, Aaron, here, okay, here's your list of complaints from two years ago. Here you go. Here's your bags. And, like, we're right. done. Instead, they it still a seems like we're... The table to but a, that, a lot of money. But that's what I'm saying. It's, yeah. I, I hear Aaron Jones. We all want to see Jordan Love get on the field. But the Packers organization has undercut that rookie draft pick. Yeah. Like, they made that move to get up, go and get him in the first round, and they've done everything to undermine that. All I can say is it's cold outside, man. It is cold outside. Right. If you get rid of that quarterback, they Are went from a Hall of veterans? Famer to a Hall of Famer. That's one thing. Now, that, that made that transition easier. They can look back at that process and say, oh, yeah, we could do that again. Jordan Love better be great. Mm -hmm. It's going to be real hard when Aaron Rodgers goes to New York and has them in the conference championship game, and y'all doing interviews at, uh, at Media Week at the Super Bowl yeah, again. Radio talking Rope. about, mm -hmm. yeah, just one more year for Jordan. He going to get over the hump just one more year. And you, you talk about you tired? You talk about you tired, you going to get plenty of damn rest when you get your job taken because your quarterback was small. ain't, ain't uh, lighting it up like the other one did. Go ahead, Marcus. Okay, guys, listen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Green Bay Packers didn't make the playoffs with Aaron Rodgers at quarterback True. this year. Like, at what point do you move on then? Like, you think you're going to have another resurgence? We all agree that Aaron Rodgers still can play a high level of football, but the year that they decided to slide that 150, he was the best quarterback in football. Mm -hmm. Let's be reminded of that. He took a fall off this year, Thank respectfully. You. And two, Mike T, he spent no time with these guys getting ready for a season. Right. That, I think that changes the dynamic of not play well, miss the playoffs. We got a young quarterback that we drafted high, and we don't know if you're in and out. This is a different circumstance they didn't know if this year. They know you in or out last year, and they still, like, allowed themselves to Came wait. On. We knew this was about money last year. Yeah. Who gave him the money, though? Green Bay. But right. we knew what Aaron Rodgers was doing, is my point. Mm -hmm. We knew Aaron Rodgers wanted another contract. Right. This year, I don't think Aaron Rodgers give a flip about another contract. <laughs> that was well played. That was, it made me very nervous. Go. <laughs> so, yeah, Greeny, last year, the Fowers were saying, hey, Aaron Rodgers loses Devontae Adams, Patrick Mahomes loses Tyreek Hill. Who's going to be better? And six and one, half a dozen the other. It's so clear right now who the better player is. Patrick Mahomes has clearly separated himself. So, to Swagoo's point, if I'm Green Bay, his best days are behind us. I want to move on while Jordan Love still has two years to go. Because if they bring Aaron Rodgers back, Greeny, and then Jordan Love graduates without them ever knowing, that's really worst-case scenario. Now, Kmart brought something up to me that I'm only going to mention because of my extraordinary professionalism, because <laughs> it in so many other ways undercuts everything that I'm hoping happens here. <laughs> but you tell everybody what you said in the makeup room this morning. When I said to you... Is, is Aaron, what's going to happen here with Rodgers and the Packers? And you talked about what he might and might not want. I, my thing is, if you're Aaron Rodgers, do you want to come to New York? Mm. Do you want to be here? Like, that's the other thing. Like, I understand. I think the Jets should be fully on board. Try to get Aaron. If I'm Aaron, I don't come here. I don't want to deal with it. It is Why? so much e it's much easier to be in Green Bay in that NFC instead of competing with Josh Allen. And you might say Aaron Rodgers yeah. doesn't care about Josh yeah. Allen and who's got it. But we've talked all year about the AFC and all the teams that you have to go through. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.